Fine tuning has become a crucial technique for adapting large pre-trained language models to specific tasks and domains. LLMs like GPT-3, T5, and Bloom are first trained on huge amounts of text data in a self-supervised manner to learn general linguistic knowledge. However, they still need task-specific training to perform well on downstream applications. To remind you, fine-tuning involves further training the pre-trained LLM on a dataset related to the end task. For example, a conversational agent can be fine-tuned on dialogue data to learn speaking styles. The training data needs to be formatted in a way the model can learn from, like question-answer pairs. Hundreds to thousands of quality examples are usually sufficient for fine-tuning. Seems easy, right? It isn't. These models have been trained on thousands of GPUs, so to fine-tune the entire model, it will require equivalent or even a large number of servers. This is where techniques such as quantization or LoRa come in handy. What are they? Well, you are going to find out next. Quantization in the context of deep learning and neural networks is a technique used to reduce the precision of numerical values, typically weights and activations in a model. In essence, it involves representing numerical values with a smaller number of bits than their original high-precision counterparts. For example, instead of using 32-bit floating point numbers to represent weights and activations, you might be using only 8 bits or even lower bit width representations. Quantization is employed primarily for two reasons. Reducing model size. By using fewer bits to represent numerical values, the model size becomes smaller. Smaller models occupy less memory, making them more efficient for deployment on resource-constrained devices and reducing storage and memory requirements. Speeding up inference. Using lower precision numerical values can result in faster inference times. This is especially important for real-time applications where quick responses are essential, such as in mobile devices and edge computing. However, quantization comes with a trade-off. Decreasing the precision of numerical values can lead to a loss of model accuracy because the model may not be able to represent fine-grained details as effectively. Therefore, practitioners need to carefully balance the reduction in precision with the model's required level of accuracy. On the other hand, LoRa, or low-rank adaptation, is a technique used in neural network compression and optimization. It involves reducing the rank of specific weight matrices in a neural network, effectively reducing the number of parameters in those matrices. This can lead to more efficient models with smaller memory footprints and faster inference times. By reducing the rank of these matrices, the model can achieve a good balance between compression and preservation of accuracy. This technique is particularly useful when optimizing large neural networks with many parameters, as it helps mitigate the computational and memory burdens associated with deploying such models. When examining the optimization techniques of quantization and LoRa for neural networks, it's important to recognize clear differences in their goals, stages of implementation, effects on model size, and areas of application. In this table, we provide a comparative description of these techniques during various phases. Please pause the video and take a moment to read them and learn more about these differences. In summary, quantization is a technique to reduce the precision of numerical values in neural networks to make them more efficient, while LoRa is a method that reduces the rank of specific weight matrices to achieve model compression and optimization. Both techniques are valuable for improving the efficiency and speed of deep learning models, especially in resource-constrained environments. Having gained an understanding of quantization and LoRa, let's explore their theoretical applications 
within the context of fine tuning, which is our current focus. Quantization and LoRa, or low rank adaptation, can be linked to the fine tuning process in the context of optimizing large language models and other neural networks. Fine tuning is a crucial step in training these models to adapt them to specific tasks or improve their performance. Here is how quantization and LoRa are related to the fine tuning process. Quantization in fine tuning. Quantization can be applied during the fine tuning stage of a pre trained LLM. Here is how it is linked pre training. LLMs are initially pre trained on vast amounts of text data, typically using high precision floating point numbers. These models are large and resource intensive. Fine tuning. After pre training, LLMs are fine tuned on specific tasks such as text generation or language translation. Fine tuning adapts the model to perform well on these tasks. Quantization during fine-tuning. During fine-tuning, practitioners may apply quantization techniques to the model's weights and activations. This reduces the precision of numerical values, making the fine-tuned model more memory efficient and faster for inference and various devices. Balancing Act. Fine-tuning with quantization is a delicate balance. The reduction in precision should be carefully controlled to avoid sacrificing too much accuracy on the target task. Practitioners need to experiment with different quantization levels and evaluate the trade-off between model size, speed, and task performance. Quantization during fine-tuning is particularly relevant when deploying LLMs in resource-constrained environments or applications requiring real-time responses. LoRa in fine-tuning. LoRa, or low-rank adaptation, can also play a role during the fine-tuning process. Pre-training. As with quantization, LoRa can be applied after the pre-training phase. Pre-trained LLMs have large weight matrices and and LoRa can be used to reduce the rank of specific weight matrices that are less critical for the fine-tuning task. Fine-tuning. During fine-tuning, the LLM is adjusted for the specific target task. By applying LoRa, practitioners can further compress the model and make it more efficient while preserving task-specific performance. Rank reduction. The rank reduction in LoRa helps reduce the number of parameters and computations, making the fine-tuned model more efficient for inference while maintaining task relevance. Balancing trade-offs. Similar to quantization, fine-tuning with LoRa requires a careful balance. Reducing the rank too aggressively may impact the task's performance, so practitioners need to experiment with different degrees of rank reduction to find the right balance. In essence, both quantization and LoRa can be seamlessly integrated into the fine-tuning stage of LLMs to fine-tune these models for particular tasks. These methods endeavor to achieve a harmonious equilibrium between model efficiency and task-specific performance, rendering them particularly apt for fine-tuning tuning in scenarios where resources are limited. There is a lot more nuance and detail to all these techniques, and it can be an independent course in itself. If you're interested in learning more about these, we invite you to join any of our meetups here at H2O AI. Next up, Let's transition into our next module, where we will explore even more the topic of LLM optimization. 